why I'll be the only duck boots you need for fall. In this video we will explore why L.L. Bean boots the only boots that you need for a fall. I was walking around L.L. Bean boots for many years. I like them, but I thought they won't be comfortable enough, plus I had my blunt stones. So I thought that eventually I will end up not wearing them at all. I was wrong. Yes, L.L. Bean boots are not suitable for every occasion, as any other work boots actually. But they are comfortable to wear and keep my feet warm and dry during these cold and rainy days in fall and spring in Ontario, Canada. They may not be perfect boots for strolling down the city, but you will welcome any rainy weather with them. It is a perfect boot for rainy days or countryside wet and muddy walks. For aesthetics, they are beautiful in their own fashion. Beans are one of the icons of the preppy culture. What I have today for you is the classic 8 inch boots, although this particular model is a limited edition that was sold at the Canadian department store Hudson's Bay. Uh, but other than the color combination, these boots are the same as the classic version. So let's talk about the quality. I did not have a very long run with these boots yet, I got these beans last season and wore them in a rotation. But the leather has some pattern already, the construction feels rugged and solid, and three rows of stitching give a feeling that these boots should serve me for a long time. The boots are made in Maine, USA, the same way it was made many years ago. With the construction being sturdy, it's not too neat. You can see many imperfections throughout, which should not affect the quality and the longevity. So how do they wear? I remember when I tried all bean boots for the first time, I was surprised to discover that the boots are comfortable. I was expecting them to be too sturdy and too stiff, but they extended my expectations. Yes, of course they are not blunt stones, which are the pinnacle of boot comfortability for me. But L. Bean is very comfortable for long walks on trail, parks and forest. They are easy to put on and pull off. So considering the construction, the comfort level is pretty high. So how to wear it? With their design, they are not too suited for urban love style, although I must note that sometimes when it's raining hard or you have snow mushed streets, these boots can come in handy. They go great with any sort of rugged or country style clothing, from thick and cozy sweaters to wax jackets like barber and casual tweed overcoats. The company has many configurations of their boots, higher, shorter, warmer options, even things like Gore-Tex are available for better water protection. The lower rubber part is completely waterproof, so you can be sure that they won't be leaking. As for the top part that is made of leather, it will protect you from getting your feet wet fast. The tone construction will help to keep water to some extent. Of course, you can't expect full waterproofness from the top. Leather is not the most waterproof material. They are not designed to stay submerged in the water. Saying that, as I mentioned before, you may find different options for these boots and there is a version with Gore-Tex, which top would be more protective in nasty weather. What about the price? I think that considering the history, overall quality of the construction and materials, the fact that these boots are made in USA, add this style iconic status to the product and I think that the price is fair. And you always can try to find them on sale. I did not have any other duck boots, but my wife has a few Sperry's and they did not survive long. Sperry's are not cheap also, but the quality is different. To me, I'll be made in much better quality. So in the conclusion, I want to say that if you live in the countryside or if you love long walks in a park or forest during fall or warm winter days, these boots would serve you well. If you live in a city, but you want to have some peace of mind on those wet, muddy, fall and winter days, the pair of beans would be handy as well. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye now and take care.